spoken that took up um, a lot of my attention this week um, also um, I know they say hindsight is a wonderful thing um, I wish I bought Bitcoin years ago I wish I did this I wish I'd done that um, but I'm just going to go over a bit of hindsight here for you um, so I'm quite cautious um, I like to believe um, in the crypto space with what I'm doing um, I like to thoroughly kind of look at some projects and check their audits and so forth um, and I normally have a look at something if it pops up um, review it I don't make an instant decision straight away just take my time and um, make sure I'm, I'm happy with investing it in the project or the token or the coin whatever you want to call it um, but but sometimes that hesitation can go against you and um, I wouldn't say you know um, unhappy because I've made some profits in this project but they could have been a lot more and the only reason I didn't is because I was hesitant um, I didn't um, push the button to buy the token so let's let's have a look at them so poly yield finance are they're on the polygon matic network um they if we go onto the website itself just bear with me so as you can see they're like it's it's like cake um same kind of platform i had a bit of a review um of the platform itself i can do a more in-depth video um uh, probably tomorrow i will do in regards to them but i'm just going to go over um, what happened this week so I had a look at um, some of their their farms and um, their audit the audit looked good the audit did look good um, there was only an issue I think I found on the rug doctor who um, wasn't happy with who made a comment in regards to one of the part of the code but I will do a more in-depth review of this project okay now um, when I looked at this a few days ago I, I, what I liked about this and what part of my strategy is with a lot of these tokens I like to kind of find the ones that have not got much supply because the less supply means there's more potential um, for that price to, to grow um, exponentially quite quickly so as you can see here circulating supply is only four thousand four and a half thousand max supply sixty two thousand so as soon as I saw that I'm like right that's ticking some boxes here um, and if we go back to a few days ago when I looked at this this was four I believe it was just under four hundred dollars okay <sighs> So let me take a deep breath. Yeah, it was just under four hundred dollars. Um, for the purposes of the video, um, let me just change uh, this into dollars. Uh, where are we? Okay. So if we go back to this week, I was looking at this this week. Um, it goes back to Thursday. Let me go a bit further. Uh, Sorry, let me just get okay. Coin Gecko can be a bit funny with things. So I was looking at this. I noticed this project maybe um, earlier on in the week. As you can see, it was sitting just under four hundred dollars on Thursday, and since Thursday, if we have a look at the chart, um, it's gone up ridiculous amount it's you know in the last 24 hours it's gone up 128 percent in the last hour it's gone up eight percent and with a market cap with how low the market cap is and the amount of supply i cannot see any reason why this is not going to hit maybe four or five thousand dollars um you know but as like i say my hesitation with this caused me not to get in at just under four hundred dollars. I managed to get in uh, about five hundred and fifty dollars, and obviously I've rode the profit up, which is fantastic. But I could have had a much better entry. 
Um, but like we say, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, if we go over to their chart, um, you know, that this could be a project that um, I might throw more into. Um, I'm still going to have, you know, I might throw more into it. Or I might just take the profit and put it into something else. Um, you know, if we look at the daily chart, the daily chart over the last three days is ridiculous. So we should see, hopefully, some kind of pullback um, where people are taking profits. If we get a moving average up, let's see if this works. Uh, put on a 20 day moving average. Okay, let's go down to the four hour. As you can see, the 20 is quite far away from its moving average. Now, <clears throat> with price itself, a lot of the time it always needs to come back to the moving average. It can't move too far away from it. As we can see here, it's quite far away from that 20 period moving average. So I expect um, a bit of a sell off, um, but I don't think there's going to be much with this. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it and as soon as I do see a sell off I might actually add some more um, to it but yeah so far with that we're up um, which is great um, but it could have been a much better trade now for next week um, the play into next week is to I sometimes get to the end of the week and I sometimes try to trim the portfolio um, just to make sure that we're, we're kind of, you know, what we're in and what I'm invested in is maximise them, I'm not happy with it. Um, sometimes you can get caught up in the week and add yourself to a few different projects that come out and before you know it, you're spread a bit wide and something where you've got a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars could go on to something else which will bring you um, a better stream of passive income um, on this channel we talk a lot about passive income which is what I'm interested in so um, yeah so I normally use Sundays to have a look over my Excel document see what I'm invested in and if I'm too high and there's projects that are my you know, I'm not 100% sure, um, I'll get rid of them and put in something a bit better, that's getting me better returns, and um, on a day, on a Sunday, you can do this any day, I just do mine on a Sunday, I just go through the certain pools that I'm in, make sure the APRs are still performing as I would like them to, they've not dropped a lot, and it's affected my, what I'm earning, um, but yeah, this is just the, the week in itself, this is this is what I do every Sunday. Hopefully I might try and add some more detail to um, this. And, you know, I hope you guys are happy with this. Um, if you are, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a good way to prepare yourself for what's coming next week. Um, I know there's a few things on my radar next week. Um, like I said, um, poly yield is going to get a lot of my attention and the Binance NFTs um, and the Everize. The rest of it, um, I'll just let a lot of my projects just manage themselves um, and then we'll go into next week and see what happens. Um, you know, I'm not no expert at all um, in regards to crypto. But I do find that a lot of the time on a Sunday is the weekend. A lot of there's a lot of selling off on the weekends. Um, maybe people are taking profits to to put into different things or to prepare themselves for the next week. But there's a lot of a sell off on the weekend. And then when it comes to a Sunday, I mean, I'm currently here, and it's just what not, nearly nine o'clock in the evening. And the market starts to turn around and come Monday morning, um, I find, not always, um, but I find sometimes that a lot of things have recovered from the sell-off over the weekend. So it's good to prepare yourself to think, ah, oh, you know, something that I looked at last week 
um, that was a hundred dollars a token is now gone down to sixty dollars so I've got it forty percent cheaper um, so yeah it's a good good way to review things and um, you know I'm open to discussion so if any think you want to discuss anything you want to know more of just uh, hit the comments um, below the video and have a good uh, trading week next week guys All right, thank you bye